Hey guys, it's Aaron and today we're going to talk about what's most likely my favorite cell phone accessory for your phone. Let's get to it. Real quick, before I get started, on this channel I do tech reviews and the tech that I own and love and that I think you're going to find pretty cool too. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Also, check the description box below for the link to these loops from Ninja Loops directly and then also from Amazon in case you're interested. With the progression of my cell phone choices having started with the Droid 2, then onto the Galaxy S3, the LG G3, and then here recently the Nexus 6, all of those phones were comfortable for one-handed use until I got to the Nexus. I realized after about a week of having the phone that having the phone resting on my pinky like most people do on that phone just wasn't comfortable. So I started looking into other options or some type of option to make it easier to hold that phone. And I've seen an advertisement somewhere at some point for Ninja Loops. Um, so I went ahead and went on their website and took a look and I ended up buying two of them for my Nexuses and I've been using them for the last year. Using these loops has completely changed my experience with larger cell phones and them actually being enjoyable to use. On my Nexus, I bought two of them and I've installed them in multiple cases and they were a lifesaver and really increased the experience that I had with that phone. I recently just went with the Galaxy S8 Plus, which has a larger screen at 6.2 inches compared to the Nexus's six inch screen. However, the aspect ratio is different. If I'm not wrong, it's 18 and a half by nine instead of 16 by nine, um, like every other phone on the market. So it's much taller than it is wide, um, but I still went ahead and picked up two because I'm so used to using them, even though the S8 Plus is easier to hold in the hand with one hand. The install process for these loops is pretty straightforward. And with the loop being as long as it is, it'll fit on basically any cell phone with any size case on it, whether it be an OtterBox or something slim like what I put on my phone. So I wouldn't have any concerns with it, you know, is it or is it not going to fit on my phone with the case I'm using? The answer is just going to be yes. Okay, so I've got my Galaxy S8 Plus along with the slim case that I've got here. And though I love this phone, uh, I'm so used to using one of these Ninja Loops with my Nexus 6 um, that I need to, to get this one installed on, on my S8. Um, it's basically just a couple of 3M adhesive, find the lens, there it is couple of 3M uh, adhesive strips, and it's pretty straightforward to get it installed. So let's go ahead and get this done real quick. Pro tip though on this is that I would, even though when you're trying to put this on, you know that's loose because this isn't adhered down here in the bottom, uh, but my tip is to always put the strap on tighter than what you think you'd actually want it, because over time this will loosen up. So when I put this on, I will make it tighter than what is actually comfortable to begin with, knowing that this is going to loosen up um, in the end to where it will be just about right, if not a little looser uh, than what you'd think. So uh, pro tip on that. All right, and since this is actually going to be used on my real phone, on my daily driver, I didn't want to do that wrong. So I went ahead and went off camera, but you can see that this is now adhered to the case itself, um, just with that 3M adhesive, and it is through the charging port on the bottom of the case. So then this will just wrap back around on the top. Push that through there, maybe. Kind of make it, like I said, tighter than what you'd think you'd want it at. And then I usually just lay that on top of where uh, the other strap went. Okay, so I went ahead and went off camera one more time, um, but you can see that I do have this now adhered to uh, the back of the case as well. And this is kind of looped around the back. This will move, like I mentioned, if you have a phone that's got kind of got a wide open loop there for your camera and fingerprint sensor or whatnot. Um, but basically just put it in the, the rough area that you know should be uh, a straight line and then just put your phone in there and that won't uh, move around once the phone is in there. Um, it does look pretty tight. However, with my finger in there, it looks like it should be just fine after it kind of loosens up a little bit. So I'm gonna go get my phone back in here real quick and give you a look at what that looks like. All right, so my phone is back in the case. Uh, real talk for a minute, when, after I put the, um, the phone back in the case, uh, the loop is just about fine or just about perfect and it will uh, stretch uh, the more I use it. Uh, when I was recording earlier, I actually thought I may have done it a little loose, uh, but now that I've actually got the phone in there, um, it's a pretty good fit. I do have a story with the most recent experience that I had when I purchased the last two Ninja Loops that I'm using with my S8 Plus. As you can see on my Nexus 6, after about six months of use, the phone loops still, or Ninja loops, still look pretty good. They're in good shape. On the S8 Plus, I installed 
the loops on Sunday. I'm shooting this video on a Thursday, so we're, God, terrible, uh, four, four or five days into using it. Um, and there's already uh, wear and tear on the loop, mainly around where the camera is and around by the charger port. Um, previously in the installation, I did mention to install the loop tight because it will stretch out. And I still definitely suggest doing that. But from having worked with the Amazon seller, I was actually sent the twill um, instead of the satin, which is what I ordered. Um, and I think that's where the difference is because the satin is what's on my Nexus and the twill is what's on the S8 Plus. The satin on the Nexus doesn't show any kind of wear and tear around those two spots, but the, the twill definitely does. So my personal preference is to go with the satin instead of the twill, um, but I will give them props in the sense that the twill does seem like it is a softer material. But I was also told that the ones I've just purchased were kind of the version two of their product. So they are a thicker uh, loop than what was on the original few that I had purchased. And then they are also made by a softer material. So I don't know if that's because of the twill or if that's in general just because of the different generation. But my personal preference would be to stick with satin if at all possible to keep the wear and tear that you're seeing here. No one's ever gonna see it because I mean, who looks at your phone that close? But it is something that I notice because that's something I noticed. When I first started having issues, I thought it was because I bought it from a reseller on Amazon instead of from phoneloops.com directly like I had before. Phone Loops had them um, out of stock in almost every color except for one absurd color and I wasn't interested in that. So I went to Amazon, searched search for Ninja Loop, found these, went ahead and ordered them even though they only had like one star, and they're from a different company than Phone Loop. So, my initial reaction was, okay, so did I, did I just buy some Chinese knockoff? And what they did confirm is that they do actually just buy the phone loops from, or the Ninja Loops from phone loops, and then they just mark them up and resell them on Amazon, which I can't really be mad at them for, because they have stock, and even though I paid $2 more per band, I got free two-day shipping versus going through Ninja Loops website or phone loops website, um, and having no idea when they were gonna get stock in. I reached out to them on Twitter and didn't hear anything back, so they're not active in social media, it doesn't seem. Um, but buying them extra on Amazon, to me, wasn't a big deal. And in the end, because of the twill satin difference, they ended up crediting me back my third or my $12.99 that I paid for the two loops altogether. So the two loops I'm using now didn't cost me anything. So my final conclusion on the Ninja Loops is that it's still a great product. And for people that have an iPhone 7 Plus or a Nexus 6, where the phone is a big screen, but it's wide and it's not an S8 Plus or an S8, I definitely think that it's worth getting. You know, even if you just have an iPhone 7 and not the Plus, I still think it's something that you're gonna get some use from. All right, so that does it for my review on the Ninja Loop slash Phone Loop. If this video was helpful to you at all, please hit that like button. If you have any questions or any kind of comments, please leave a comment down below. We'd love to help you out in any way that I can. But until the next one, this is Aaron. Take care.